Hi everyone, this is Rahil from cyphertech.com and this is our third video in our series of Angular 2 for beginners. And in this video, I'll be talking about Angular CLI. So Angular CLI is basically a command line tool for Angular 2 projects. Uh, you can very well develop Angular 2 projects without this tool. But what, uh, but what this, this tool will do for you is, is make your life uh, for getting started with Angular 2 much easier and much faster. So Angular CLI is an npm package. So to install it, you'll have to run this command. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so to install it, you'll have to run npm install Angular CLI hyphen g. This will install the tool globally. So I won't be doing it right now because I already have it installed on my machine. So next, what you'll do is once you install this uh, tool on your machine. It will give you a bunch of uh, cool commands that you can use. So let me just go into my working directory. If I do ng new my project, what this command will basically do is uh, create a new Angular 2 project. And this thing takes quite a while to get installed. Uh, so it says it has also initialized git for us, but now what it's doing is it's uh, installing the npm dependencies and also installing typings and etc. So this thing takes quite a bit of while to complete. So uh, once this is done successfully, I'll show you what you'll see. All right. So once that thing is completely done, we should see uh, something like this uh, printed on your command line to install packages for tooling via npm. So once this is done, you can navigate into your project directory using or rather let's see what this command has done for us. So you can see the folder over here, my project, we have config, e2, e public, src. So you don't have no modules yet because I have cancelled the command. So ideally your uh, app structure would look something like this once everything is done. Right, so this is the package that uh, that uh, holds all your npm packages. You have uh, typings or JSON for config your typings, which is with your TypeScript. Then you have uh, an src folder. This is where you'll uh, probably do all your coding. Okay, so now let's go to the official GitHub page and see what are the commands that you can use in Angular CLI. So we, we have already seen ng-new that gives us a new angular project. We can generate components directly with a single command using ng-generate component. We can generate routes, we can generate services, class, interface, enums, etc. We can also build our uh, src into a dist folder and serve it. Or we can also uh, test our application using this tool, we can also perform end-to-end -end testing, we can deploy to GitHub, etc. So what I'm trying to say here is Angular CLI, though it is not necessary, but it will, it will make uh, development with Angular 2 much faster and much easier. So I've already done a complete blog on this. What are the things you can do with Angular CLI? You can refer that. I'll mention the link in the description. I'll also mention the GitHub link in the description. Alright, so I think that fit with Angular CLI. It's a pretty simple tool to use. There's nothing fancy about it. So I'm just showing you in this series because uh, we'll be going forward. We'll be using some of some of the commands to you know scaffold our Angular app. Okay. So that's it for this video. Until next time, peace.